Shang, can you tell me in a couple of sentences, what is it that you do at Minres? At the moment, I'm the graduate supply chain officer at Mineral Resources. All my rotations are through the supply department. And I primarily work with people in procurement and contracts, data analytics, logistics and warehousing, and purchasing and systems. Sure. And what is it that Mineral Resources does and who do you primarily serve? So Mineral Resources is a mining company based in Western Australia, and they predominantly mine iron ore and lithium. And they also provide mining crushing services to other mining companies as a contractor. And we've also recently expanded into the energy business with our energy team. So we're looking at gas exploration. Sure. What got you specifically interested in applying to and working at Minres? I personally know a lot of people in the mining industry, including my dad, and they really love working in the industry. They've stayed there for a really long time and they've all said it's an industry that hires more than just engineers and it's very diverse with the range of individuals that they employ and is very it's quite easy to move up the career ladder and actually progress with your career so it's in that sense it's very flexible can you give me a bit of a high level walkthrough of the application process to the grad program at minrose how does that look the application process is very simple all you do is put in your resume your academic transcript and the position you want to apply for and a few other personal information like your name your address date of birth and all that in the online application form and from my experience like after that process there's no psychometric testing like you do with some of the other companies like the big four investment banks i know they ask you to do psychometric testing there's no testing here so it was just the application and straight to a job interview and then after you, if you were successful you do a few police clearance check and then you receive the contract so that's the recruitment process so then what do you think was probably the hardest part of the application process to the grad program at Midres. It was difficult to know what the ap- outcome of my application was because there was no psychometric testing. So you don't really know like where you are at. And my experience was a little bit different because the position I applied for uh, actually didn't get the, I wasn't successful, but I didn't know that until someone in the recruitment team actually sent my resume to another general manager for review. So that part was a bit tricky because I just didn't, I think by the time I actually got that phone call, I forgot I even applied, if I'm being honest. So they are a bit delayed in terms of like responses. Like you would want to know if you didn't get in, you would want to, know, want to know if you got in or not. What was the trickiest interview question that you got asked during the grad application process to MinRes and how did you handle it? So the executive general manager actually asked me which rotation, because he was going through all the rotations in the supply program that he intends to put in. And he said, which one would you not enjoy? And obviously it's a bit tricky to answer, but you have to be, you have to be honest with the response, but you also have to show that you won't let that stop you from trying your best in all the rotations that you do. What do you think was probably the number one thing that got you successfully through the grad application process at NINRES? Personally, I think having a strong resume really helped and I had some prior work experience with doing other internships and I think also going the extra mile and doing my honours year also showed that as I was a very well-rounded individual both academically and in the industry so it just showed that I'm willing to try anything. So I think that really stood out in my resume. So once you got through the grad application process at MinRes and got hired in, what did your first two days, weeks, and generally the onboarding process look like? The onboarding process wasn't too long. It was initially it was signing the contract, doing the general background background checks and police clearance. And you have to do a few inductions about the company prior to start with familiarize yourself with the company's corporate policies and safe and respectful behaviors and so on before actually entering the workplace. Can you walk me through a day in your life as a grad at Minrose? How does that look? So I'm completing my rotation in the warehousing and logistics team. I usually just start my day with checking my emails and checking what meetings I have. And I usually set aside some time just to prepare for them, just to make sure I contribute to the meetings. Usually, since I'm with the warehouse staff, I would be just walking around just to see what just to liaise with them to see what's going on, if I can help them with anything. And right now I was looking at a few process improvements in our warehousing and logistics space. And with this project, I usually just document what we could improve and what steps we can eliminate in our process to make the process more efficient. So how much vacation time do you get at Minrise and how are you going to spend it? We do get the Christmas week off. 
because it's the mandatory shutdown. So I think all the office based staff that will be are taking the whole week off. But vacation wise, you have to accumulate if you accumulate annual leave. But I haven't used any of mine yet. So I just have that Christmas week off. What's probably the coolest thing that you've worked on so far as a grad at Midres? So when I was in the master data and analytics team, the main goal of the team was to implement a few improvements to our purchase to pay system. So I was directly involved in drafting and implementing a few reference guides to help all the other employees in our business to use and navigate the platform. So that was something cool that I was really involved in. So what is probably then your favorite thing about working as a grad at Midrest? So Mineral Resources is a company that's still in its growth phase. There's a lot of room for improvement when you get on when graduates get on board. And I think graduates have tremendous potential to drive positive change throughout the business, no matter what team you're at, and really facilitate a lot of change with all the business leaders. So that's the best reason to work for Mineral Resources. The moment you've been dreading, what is probably your least favorite thing about working as a grad at Minres? As a graduate, I think since Mineral Resources is a growing company, the systems aren't as functional as the ones that like BHP or Rio Tinto or Fortescue, like the more mature mining companies would have a really solid organization structure. They would have gone through the phase where they've implemented all their systems, but Mineral Resources is not on that stage. And graduates might find that very frustrating because I know I found it very frustrating. So especially when I had the task of like gathering data for the contracts team, I was just like the data was all over the place and you're just wasting like two hours just to clean it up. So the systems aren't as efficient as they should be. So that might, that was not my favorite part. So then what would probably be your single best piece of advice for any other grads wanting to apply to the grad program at Minres to really help them ace that application process? I think the one piece of advice I would give graduates who are applying to mineral resources is to show genuine interest in the mining industry during your interview. And also when you're writing the cover letter, like show genuine interest that you want to work in the mining industry. And what do you think then is the coolest fringe benefit that you get for being a grad at Minres? I think the best fringe benefit that I can think of is the new corporate head office in Osborne Park, which is an amazing office. It's basically like a platinum certified building. It has a gym, has a cafe, has a restaurant, and the food is very discounted. So you can get $2 coffees. The gym membership is only $5 a week as opposed to $10 or $15 if you go to another commercial gym. So that's a huge fringe benefit. Wow.